Our climate has changed. The stable climate we took for granted has made way for climate instability. Ferocious storms, fires and floods are now the norm. And with this ever-changing environment comes power uncertainty. Australia has seen one in 100 year disasters become an annual event. Our daily news services are now full of climate related events on a global scale. Long days of extreme temperatures also put great demand on electricity grids. As amateur radio can provide essential communications in times of need, a reliable and long lasting power supply is now essential in the shack and in the field. Battery technology is becoming cheaper and better. But be aware of the cheap and nasty switching components that can render your battery backup system worthless in a time of need. Battery technology is constantly evolving. The ability to store energy is becoming easier and cheaper, but care and handling of batteries needs to be considered. LiPo or lithium polymer batteries, for example, are capable of delivering very high current. They need to be charged on a cell-by-cell -cell basis and are used in devices from mobile phones and laptops to jump starting a car. If you're building your own battery packs, consider using battery management systems to look after the charging and use of your batteries. LiPos are ideal as compact power supplies for portable amateur radio use. But what about a battery for the shack? Most probably think of a car battery as a source of 12 volts for the shack, but they're cranking or starting batteries. Deep cycle batteries have thick plates and can be discharged down to 80% and deep cycled time and time again without causing damage. The lifespan of a deep cycle battery depends on how it's used, maintained and charged, as well as external factors such as temperature. How often and how deep you deep cycle your battery also affects its lifespan. While it's almost impossible to provide a definitive lifespan, an AGM or absorbed glass mat deep cycle battery usually lasts between four to eight years and a gelled deep cycle battery for two to five years. Integrating a battery into the shack requires a bit of thought, such as where to store it, cable distance and voltage drop, longevity, and most importantly, charging. Deep cycle AGM batteries are top of the list for shack backup batteries. Deep cycle batteries will self-discharge if left without a load over an extended period of time. And storing in an uncharged state can cause sulfation resulting in damaged performance. Yeah, um, how long have you been down in Antarctica? Over. Keeping your battery primed and ready for use requires a device known as a power gate. A power gate switches between two sources of power for the shack, the mains connected power supply and the battery backup. When power is lost to the shack, the power gate will switch seamlessly to the battery. The current rating and voltage drop of the power gate needs to be considered. If you just want to power a 50 watt VHF radio, then your current requirements aren't as much as if you want to power several radios, the low voltage shack lighting, and maybe the low voltage computer monitor. From personal experience, not all power gates are the same. You get what you pay for. Steer clear of the cheap brands, as they're cheap for a reason. Usually quality of the components and workmanship is sadly lacking. The Chunsway Power Path is a good example of cheap and nasty. 
This product is rated at 30 amps continuous and sells for around 40 US dollars. It failed within two days of minimal use with the destruction of one of the MOSFETs despite being operated well below the specified values. The subsequent replacement also failed in a similar period of time. A product which you'll pay a good price for is the West Mountain Radio Epic Power Gate. It continues to perform as the product description states, doing exactly what the manufacturer promised. This product, which sells for 190 US dollars, supports a continuous current of up to 40 amps and a battery charge rate of up to 10 amps. The Epic Power Gate charges a variety of batteries. It has an LED indicator which shows the state of the device and a USB port which also shows on-screen battery voltage, charge rate and charge mode. The best feature of the Epic Power Gate is the facility for a solar panel. A 250 watt panel on the shack roof will almost eliminate the shack power supply for receive use with the added benefit of reducing your energy bills. There are many other features of this power gate designed with the amateur radio operator in mind. In these times of power uncertainty, a charged battery in the shack to provide many hours of uninterrupted operation would have to be high on the list of things to set up. If this is on your to-do list, shop around and read the specifications to make sure what you're purchasing meets your needs and is right for your shack. It's also prudent to read the product reviews, as someone else's pain may be your gain. Uh, swing around to the uh, northeast to VK3 AV, how copy? Keep your DC cable lengths as short as possible and use cable that's capable of high current. When it comes to a reliable power supply, you really do get what you pay for. The next time you're without power for an extended time, being able to rely on your battery backup system is priceless.